Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. You guys, I am so excited. Today, we are starting the Sex and the City movies. Yay! This is what I've been looking forward to. I've been so excited. I figured since, and just like that train wreck is ending, I thought, you know what? What better time than now to start transitioning to the movies? So here's what I'm thinking for these. I really want to get in deep with them. I'm going to try to do as much research as I can. We're going to talk behind the scenes stuff. We're going to talk through the, you know, through the movies themselves, the typical recap. We're going to do it all. We're going to have group talks about it. I'm so excited. We're going to do both films and, um, yeah, get into all the good stuff that we love and not so much love about the films, especially the second one. So I'm excited to jump into this. I hope you're ready and let's get going. Check out my merch link below. I got Midnight Toast, Justice for Steve. It's a load of pants. Or find me on Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. So since this is the first episode of Mini to Come, I thought we'd just kind of talk about how this is going to work. I'm going to go through and do my normal recap. I'm going to fill us in with some tips and tricks and <laughs> some behind the scenes info that I've learned along the way. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on it. I'm going to depend on you guys in the comments to come back at me and tell me your thoughts on it because I really want to see, I want to read it all. I want to talk about it all. I'm so excited to get into it. So I'm going to be breaking this down into lots of episodes. So we'll just see how far we get each episode. I at first was stressing about how much time to put in each episode. I'm not even going to worry about that. We're going to talk as much as we talk. We're going to get through it until we finish the movie and then we'll move on to the next one. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to break them down into mini episodes. And again, this is episode one, Sex in the City movie part one. So this is kind of the ridiculousness that sticks out for me in this film. You guys, I can't look at this picture without cracking up. I mean, everything. Look at the face she's making. Look at that bird in her hair. Yes, I called it a feather before. I'm so sorry about that. I forgot it was a bird, but there's a bird in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> the makeup is awful. Look at Charlotte making this face. Look at it all. It's just so funny to me. But again, I'm not going to rag on this movie. I'm just going to rag on parts of it. But um, <laughs> oh, this picture makes me laugh. Okay. So just some facts about the movie. So Sex and the City, of course, is the show. This is called Sex and the City, the movie <laughs> original, right? Um, it was 2008 when it came out. It's a romantic comedy Written and directed by Michael Patrick King. I have very strong visceral reaction when I say that name. Uh, but it's his feature film debut. So it continues on from where the series picks uh, left off. So it's their lives in New York City and it's, it's continuing on with the show. To me, it did feel like basically a long episode of the show more than a movie. But again, I'm not shitting on it. I like the movie. And I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, everything in between. The world premiere of this took place in, I'll never say this right, I'm so sorry to my UK friends. Is it Leicester? L-E-I-C-E-S-T-E-R Square in London. Uh, May 15, 2008 and premiered May 28, 2008 in the United Kingdom. And on May 30th, 2008, in the United States. So interesting that the UK got its release first. You jerks. Uh, <laughs> it did receive mixed reviews from the critics. It has been called an extended episode of the series. That's exactly how it felt to me. They do consider it a commercial success. It grossed over $415 million worldwide. It had a budget of $65 million. So I like to know the behind the scenes stuff. So what I find interesting is just like, okay, so it filmed between September and December in 2007. I believe I read it was shot for 69 days. I'm sure they did that on purpose, but <laughs> the locations were mostly around Manhattan. Some of it was shot in Steiner Studios and some of it in Silver Cup Studios. The shooting was continually interrupted by paparazzi and onlookers. I did read a lot about that, is that they had to have security and police, and um, they had to have a lot of effort to control the crowd. I was looking for photos of it. I did find this one. They, I believe it was from the first movie, I, I, but yeah, so they obviously had some crowd problems going on. 
So let's get into this. When the movie starts up, we have the credits rolling, and it's it's the original theme song, but it's all jazzed up, right? And the opening song is actually called Labels or Love. It's a single by Fergie, and it's on the soundtrack from the motion picture, of course, Sex and the City. The song only peaked at number 89 on the top 100 here, but apparently South Africa gave it a lot of love because it peaked at number 7. Australia, you guys peaked it at 15, so I guess just here we don't appreciate great music, so, so there's that. So right off the bat, we get Carrie's voiceover saying, year after year, 20-something women come to New York in search of two L's, labels and love. So we see these 20-somethings checking out all the fashions. It's, it's all of us when we're in our 20s, right, that love this show. We see our very first shot of our girl. It's Carrie. So she's walking by in this, and the girl next to her says, hot dress. Ooh. And she says, 20 years ago, she was one of them. So when doing my research, I had to find out about this fabulous dress. Would I ever wear it? No, but it looks great on her. You guys, it was photographed on Whitney. 1987. So Whitney was doing a promotional shoot and it ended up being the cover of Life magazine. So this is by a designer out of Sarasota, Florida, Eugene Alexander. And it was originally a longer dress, so they cut it short for Carrie and they took off one of the big old flowers and they just left the one. So interesting edit. I love it. I love that they updated it. And again, I just love it because I remember kind of being wowed by it right off the bat. Would I ever wear it? No, but it looks great on Carrie, so here we are. So to go with our jazzy new theme, we have a jazzy new intro. They've sparkled it up, right? (laughs) I love it. So this is the opening title card, I guess you'd call it. Uh, They gave it a pink sparkle, and I'm here for it. So from here, we get our first glimpse of the girls. As Carrie's walking, she picks up Charlotte and Miranda, and they're walking together. And you guys, soon after that, Samantha joins them. Oh, I'm just going to do that a lot when I see Samantha. Just go, oh, it's Samantha. I miss you, Samantha. Okay, so the girls are walking together. She's Carrie's doing a voiceover about spotting a knockoff in terms of relationship and having her good girlfriends there to help her through life. So she says, my name's Carrie Bradshaw. I'm a writer. So it's like, hey, if you didn't watch the show, I'm going to explain that to you. So during this scene, we see, of course, Samantha being Samantha. She checks out a hot guy who ends up kissing another guy. She's like, oh, man. Um, So from here, we start to get flashbacks to the original series. And we see the chapters in her book that she's written. and, And as they correspond to the original series and journeys that the women have been through, things like when Charlotte married Trey and... Uh, Just everything that happened. Now, from here, we find out Charlotte and Harry, it says they journeyed to China and they brought back Lily. So we see our first Lily sighting. I love Lily here. Don't love her in the new series. Speaking of, there's Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Um, Hey, Wig. No. So she's got her natural hair, hair here. It's red hair. It's great to see it back. Brady, before I hate Brady. And it's Steve. Justice for Steve. So they're in Brooklyn, and life is good. It's before she wrecks everything. We go to Samantha. She says Samantha's love was lots of sex. Then she found a man that combines sex and love. You guys, I love Smith. I really did. Not just for the eye candy, but because he was great with Samantha and very sweet and kind, and I love Smith, and he's hot. Here's Carrie with a bun, but not a migraine-inducing bun. (laughs) We see her first. Uh, we see our first sighting of Big here. She runs across the street to meet Big. She has a very good feeling about this. They're going to look in an apartment. So she talks about finding the perfect apartment in New York City. It can take years to do this, just like it can take years to find a good relationship. We find out this is the thirty-third apartment that they're looking at. Uh, they're showing. So we see this apartment. This is a very small windowed apartment. They love the building. They hate this apartment. So they're like, "Mm, not so much. Well, the realtor lets them know, hey, I have another apartment that's not on the market yet. It's more than you're looking to pay. So he hits the penthouse button and Carrie squeals like she does. Like, ooh, 
you know, that Carrie squeal that she does. And you guys, this apartment, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous apartment. So it's a penthouse rooftop terrace. And of course they have to say, your wife has a quite the sense of humor. And he, she says, oh, oh, he's my boyfriend. And so Big says, aren't I a little old to be introduced as your boyfriend? So we find, we get to see the master bedroom. Everything's beautiful. This is the perfect apartment. I'm obsessed with that terrace, you guys. Can you imagine having that whole thing? It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm blown away by this apartment. It just looks like something I would see in Paris or something. I don't know. It's just stunning. I love it. Okay. So uh, looking around the apartment, Carrie said, oh, they find out that the reason the apartment is available is because the last couple is getting divorced. So it won't work for them. So Carrie kind of looks over a big and then she makes a joke that the reason they got divorced is because of the shitty little closet. So we see it has a teeny closet, but big assures her, don't worry, I'll fix it. So he says then to her, welcome home, baby. Uh, and he says, again, I can build you a better closet. So very exciting, obviously something he had planned and he's very excited about it. So he says, I'm off to sign some papers. So it's beautiful apartment. It's great. Okay. So then Carrie is walking with Miranda and Charlotte and she says that she got the penthouse apartment. She's, she's fallen in love with. She's so excited. The cl it's just the closet. The closet's what needs the redo. The kitchen needs work too. And Miranda freaks out saying, well, he bought it. Will you be keeping your own place? You need so again, it's like, where is this Miranda? Where has Miranda gone? Because this Miranda is being sensible, saying, think about it, Carrie. Think about what you're doing. And then current day Miranda's like, I had three weeks worth of orgasms with Che, so I'm off to break up my marriage. I'm in a rom-com. <laughs> wow. So you guys, I'm going to stop it here because we got a decent chunk in. And by that, I mean not into the movie. I just mean into the background and what's going on and some of the cool behind the scenes stuff. And I am so excited and we're going to keep going. And I just can't wait to hear all your thoughts on this. I can't wait to hear your feedback. I just can't wait to keep talking about these movies because I love them. I just, I really do. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Please let me know your feedback. Let me know if you're excited to dive into this. Give me a million comments. I'll take them all. Give me a thumbs up too if you don't mind. That really helps my channel out. If you're interested in my merch, check that out. If you're interested in Patreon, I'm there too. Doing the original Sex in the City series. We're talking about it all. Thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.